into that cat suit. Anyway, you might want to do something else tomorrow night. You might want to see some ukulele-based marvellousness, in which case you can see this look. They are the Martini Encounter. They describe themselves as permanently shaken and occasionally stirred. Now, as you can see, they're trapped somewhere in the 1930s. This is their first visit to what you probably would call a televisual studio. Oh, yes, yes, it is. It's all very <laughs> Okay, hello Martini. Yes. Now I must just explain they will play ukulele later on, so that's why they're just here drinking at the moment, which is fine yeah. by me. Yeah. Now we have got Maud, we have got Binky, and we have got Muffy. Who is who? Uh, I'm Binky, I'm the male one. Yes. Right. And, and I'm Maud, the professional one. Any time you please, anywhere. Yeah. Quite right, fun. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, I'm Muffy, of course, because I'm the last one there. And we are the Martini. Other. Oh, well, we were basking uh, on the underground. Yeah. It was during the blitz. The and, uh, well, we just met over three ukuleles and we haven't looked back really. That's right, Binky, yes. yes. What is it about the ukulele that you love so much? Well, it's got a certain magic and it's terribly easy to play. Very easy yeah. to play, yes. Truth be told. Yes. Well, is it? Because I'm going to ask you a question. I tried to teach myself the ukulele. Mm. Yeah. And it didn't go very well. Uh, yeah. I cannot play the ukulele. Well, well, what was I missing? What's the, well, what's the magic trick? It took us a long time to yes. learn the, uh, right. the ancient art of learning the yeah. ukulele, dear. So what I would say to you, Miss Louise, is practice, practice, practice. All right. Yes. Okay. And I would say just put your lips together and blow, dear. That's as <laughs> simple as that. If I blow my ukulele, something else might happen, but I'm not sure it would be the ukulele yes. play. Oh, and plenty right. of these, of course. How yes. did you end up stuck in the 1930s? Well, you see, the thing is, here we're not so much a, a cabinet act, we're more of a midlife crisis. Yes, exactly. It is indeed the 1930s. Yes, it is the 1930s, yes. isn't it? Sure, it? sure, it's the 1930s, it's whatever it's you say. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you like to perform in London? Well, well we're sadly enough, we're going to one of our favourite venues tomorrow night, yes, aren't we? we? Are. Yes. We're going to the Pleasance Theatre. And that's isn't tomorrow night, isn't it? That's tomorrow right. night. Yes. It's for our new late night cabaret. Do you tell, tell Mother Carrie? And the blizzards. So it's a cabaret night, and yes. you're going to be emceeing, or are you one of the acts? Oh, oh we're doing both. Yes, yes, yes we're emceeing, and we're also uh, playing host to a number of marvellous acts who will be there alongside us. Oh, very good. Who yes. else is going to be with you? Well, we have from the sublime to the ridiculous, with more emphasis on the latter. Yes. Sadly, but we have a marvellous magician called D. Riley. Yes, Mr. D. Riley. Yes. And a fabulous act called Timberlina, who will be there giving us an alternative character yes. that he's developed especially for this evening. Yes. It's called That Boy T. Yes. And of course we have Ivana Bawash, oh, the yes. virtuoso violinist. Oh, very good. So yes. something for everyone. Now you're going to be playing for us at the end of the show. Just yes. tell me quickly what song you're going to be playing for us. Uh, well, we've decided to play something from our more classical repertoire. Yes. Something by that beat combo called The Blur. The Blur. Oh. You may have heard of them. Yes, 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 I have heard of them. Yes, one of their hits. Okay, it's wonderful stuff. We'll have The Blur uh, played later on in the show. Thank you very much, Martini Encounter. Now though, my night will